There's almost 800 billion pounds of plastics that are produced each year. And plastic that's not going away, it's got to be placed in some landfill one day. Every piece is going somewhere, if you will, or ending up in the ocean. They said by 2050, there's more pounds of plastic in the ocean than pounds of fish. It's crazy, uh, the statistic, uh, and our appetite for plastic is insatiable. It's not something that we've decided to pull back on. We talk a lot about it as a country in the world, but the growth in plastics is still five to 10%. The fear that we're ruining this world and they don't know that there's an alternative. I get on a plane, I can't wait for them to say, you know, what do you do? And I buckle up, you're not gonna believe this. The excitement to me is telling people that no, there is a biodegradable plastic, absolutely 100% biodegradable plastic that will work to replace your water bottles, your chip bags, your cutlery, things that you see on the side of the road. We can make those go away. God created the heavens and the earth, one of the things was this bacteria that makes PHA, or a natural polyester, as its fat. It's almost science fiction. So we have bacteria that eat vegetable oil, and they make the PHA in their body as energy reserves. results from separation, solvent-free purification, and drying. PHA resin pellets are created through a proprietary... This is it, it works, it's fantastic. There's no compromise to it, it's just you know, the right solution at the right time. The fact that it's a bug fat when you make an article out of it, whether it be a straw or a lining of a cup, a fork, a coffee pod, now that article is placed in the environment. Soil bacterium exists everywhere and they begin to consume it. There is no comparable product that is certified marine biodegradable, home compostable. But in the continental United States, how many straws we sell per year in pounds? 30,000 pounds of material doesn't do anything. And that's what the investment allowed us to do, buy that equipment, install it, and now we can have an impact on the marketplace. That is a good thing for this economy. Plus we're planning on expanding beyond that with the future phases, with uh, jobs that are stable in the area to take advantage of this facility, plus the training and skill sets we already have in place. Clark County is the border between the mountains and the bluegrass. A lot of people in Winchester and Clark County that are willing to risk, they're willing to take a chance, they're willing to invest uh, not only capital but also sweat equity. When a company like Danimer comes along and has the technology that they do, it's just very encouraging, to be honest with you. 
you know, it's exciting. And I can barely pronounce, much less spell the word biopolymers. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, it speaks volumes to younger people. And I've been in groups and crowds when the technology has been explained, their eyes light up and say, wow, golly. It gives hope, it gives promise, and they can see a real world, real life application of those technologies that will mean a huge difference in terms of us being good stewards of a limited number of natural resources that we have. It's hard to raise capital for a smaller company like ours, but the world needs it so badly and the demand is virtually unlimited. Had we not had the investment, we'd still be going, well, what are we gonna do next? And the world would still be looking, going, I believe in PHA, but I really want somebody to do it first, and then we'll sign on without the financing. And I think the world would be five years behind. I think in the next 100 years, they're gonna look back and they're gonna be very disappointed in what the generations before them did, but be very thankful that it started right here in the United States with the progress that we've made.